Hello everybody, my name is Wilder, and welcome to my Let's Play of Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. I have wanted to do this for quite a while. This is my favorite Harvest Moon game, and one of my favorite games of all time. I have been waiting quite a while to actually do this, and I'm so excited to get started. So if you don't know, this is quite a long game. Uh, this is a GameCube game, which is my favorite console. Uh, and this is quite a long game, so I do plan on doing just about all of this game. Uh, it's This is going to be like a nice series to put next to my collection quest that I'm currently doing, uh, and any any uh, series that I do in the future. Uh, I think this will just complement it kind of well, because this is going to be more of a laid-back, kind of relaxed, just, you know, just a let's play where I can just hang out with, uh, with you guys and just kind of talk, you know? Um, so yeah, this is just going to be relaxed, and I'm just going to play one of my favorite games, and let's see how it goes. He wasn't unhappy, but he didn't seem to have a direction in life. One day, I went to see him. I told him about the farm you left to him. Your son didn't seem to know much about farming, but he was willing to give it a try. So I brought him to Forget-Me-Not Valley. Your dad and I shared the same dream, you know. I bet he never told you, but I remember it all. This land you see here? Your dad and I found it together. It, it has old but strong buildings and some, and some fallow fields. This music is so nostalgic to me, I love it. I'm so excited to be doing this. So, I think it's your destiny to take on this farm. I'll be here to help you out. Cool. Why don't I show you around? This is the barn. This is where the cattle, sheep, and horse live. I'll show you the inside later. Oh, scrolling text. Next door is the tool shed. <laughs> There's a tool shelf and a shelf. <laughs> Why couldn't you just say multiple shelves? And a few other things. That's where you store your tools. I put tools, I put some tools you'll need on the tool shelf. I also put some seeds on the shelf. They're there to use. Oh, really? Are they? <laughs> I forgot about that line. They're there to use. This is the food storage. Put dairy products in here to ship. I'll take it to the market in town on the following day. If there's something you want me to buy, just write it in the ledger. Cool. This is the chicken coop where the chickens live. Puppies! And here's where we get to pick our dog for the day. For the day. Here's where we get to pick up the dog for the farm. These dogs must be strays. Looks like these guys like you. Do you want to keep one? Uh, yeah. So you can pick either dog, the other one gets completely abandoned. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you can pick either dog for your farm, doesn't matter what you pick. Uh, but I always like going with the pointy-eared one. I love the pointy-eared dog. Now give him a name. So in Harvest Moon games, I always name my dog... Uh, there it is. I always name my dog Ramen. And that's a very obscure reference. So I don't expect anyone to get that. Alright then, I'll find an owner for the other one. Yay. We have a puppy! I'll build, a dog house. I'll build a dog house for the little guy later. Thanks, man. That's Takakura. He's so nice. Finally, this is your house. I fixed it up a little, but it's not. It's still not much. That's nah, fine. My house is... You can see my house on the other side of the food storage. That's all you'll need for now. Once you get going, you can build up the place. Oh yeah, come here for a second. Okay. I bought you a cow to get you started. Put the feed in here, and she needs a name. So I'm gonna do another thing uh, from 
this one's just from my childhood. I've always also named my first cow Vanilla. Ah, oh, so much nostalgia. I've always named my first cow Vanilla, so I'm gonna do this for a few more times. Um, and then I'll just come up with new interesting names that make sense, because some of them don't make sense. A good name for our first cow. Thanks. It's already been about 10 days since she gave birth. So you can milk her. She's healthy, so twice a day is good. The scrolling text is catching me off guard. <coughs> That's about it. Oh yeah, you have to think of a name for the farm. What will it be? And time for another very obscure reference. Legacy Farm. Where's the Y? Oh, here's a Y. God, I'm not used to this layout. I'm used to a QWERTY keyboard. Sounds good enough to me. Cool, I guess. I should probably tell you about the people who live around here. Okay. I'm not so sociable, but let me introduce you to them. Time to hit the town. There's Tim, who runs the Inner Inn, his wife Ruby, and their son, Rock. How should I introduce you? Well, my name, of course, is Wilder. Wilder? Got it. I thought I misspelled it for a second. <laughs> and... There's a girl staying here named Nami, too. This is Gallant and his wife, Nina. Hello. God, I love this game so much. I love all the characters, too. They're all just interesting enough. This is Chris. This is Wally and his son, Hugh. What's up, guys? How's it going? Griffin runs the blue bar where Muffy works. Romana lives in the villa with- well, th sorry. Romana lives in the villa with her granddaughter, Lumina. And this is their butler, Sebastian. So I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail about these characters uh, in the future, because this is gonna be a long playthrough, so we'll have time. Uh, Vesta runs a farm like yours. Over there is Vesta's younger brother, Marlin. Celia helps out with the farm work here. This is where you can buy seeds. People live over there, too. There are twins who make fireworks, an artist, a guy who does experiments all day, and someone who plays guitar. They're all weird, I say. Is that why you're not bringing us over there? It's because they're weird. Okay, I trust you. In that tent is a scholar who lives with his assistant. They're digging something up. Hmm, that's about it. Cool. Nice little town. I love this valley so much. I would actually want to live here. You must be tired by now. Take it easy and rest. Just ask me if there's anything you don't understand. See ya. Thanks, man. Huh? A harvest sprite? I've never seen before. And these are the harvest sprites. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? There aren't any other harvest sprites besides us. Who is it? Who is it? Now that I think of it. So who is it? Hi, guys. What's up? Harvest Sprites are reoccurring characters in Harvest Moon, but they don't play a very big role in this game. Uh, but it's just nice that they're here. Because they're cute. The Harvest Sprite named Wilder. Oh, I see. I'm Knack. Nice to meet you. My name is Nick. Nice to meet you. I'm Flack. Pleased to meet you. I like that they're in this game. They they really don't do anything, but... Uh, I like it. A few days later. As you always wished, he started working on the farm with me. And this is chapter one, called The Beginning. All right, here we go. We can finally start playing now. Tutorial Island is over. Cool. So this game works, uh, it, the way this game works, I should say, rather, uh, is there are four months, and they're all seasons. Uh, well, there are four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. And they all have 10 days each. Uh, every minute in this game is one second in real time. 
Uh, so days can go by pretty fast, um, but usually you have a lot of time uh, in a month to do, you know, everything that you need to do, even though there are only 10 days to it. Uh, but yeah, so now that the tour now that the tutorial is over, bleh, the game just kind of lets you go and you just start farming. Uh, yeah, so it's it's actually time to uh, just start going. I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna explain things uh, as I go. I'm not gonna explain everything. Blech. I'm not going to explain everything, uh, mainly just because this is a very old game, and a lot of people have already played it. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to really have fun. I'm just going to sit back and relax and uh, play this game. I really like it. Uh, so one of the things that was told in this tutorial that I actually wanted to talk about, I never, hello, that I never talk, or I never use. Sorry, hold on. You can also push your animals. They don't mind it too much. Hello. Vanilla's doing fine. Cool. Um, oh, I should actually bring her outside. So one of the things that the tutorial talked about uh, that I never actually really use and never have used, um, but I'm, was recently learning how useful it is uh, the last time I played this game, which was like, I don't know, uh, Probably like a year or two ago. Oh, by the way, if you come in here, like Takakura said, there are seeds uh, on the shelf. And then all your tools are here that he got for you. Um, Takakura's a friend of our uh, late father, and he helps out with a lot of the farm stuff. Well, he, d he doesn't actually help out with the farm stuff, but the game like makes you believe that he does. He does okay. He does all right. Oh, I forgot to mount the cow. Um, so, anyway, like I was saying, one of the tutorial things um, that I never actually used was in the food storage building over there. That one right over there. Um, that's where you can ship dairy products in a bin. Uh, and Takakura will take them to the city, which is just outside of this town. Uh, and he'll sell them for you. Um, I never actually did that because there's a guy who comes to town oh, I only needed two there's a guy who comes to town every three days I believe and his name is uh, Van or Vaughn um, and you can just sell your items to Van and he usually gives you a pretty good price for stuff and that's all I did as a kid so I never actually used the uh, oh, I don't have any water I never actually used the food storage as like a shipping room uh, but I've recently learned how useful it is because Van does only come th every three days. And sometimes sometimes his schedule is kind of random, which is weird. Uh, but yeah. So I'm going to be using that a lot more. Um, you start this game with 3,000 G. Uh, $3,000. And it's... Or 3,000 or 2,000? I'm forgetting now. Hey, it's 3,000. I still know what I'm talking about. Uh, you start out with 3,000, which is actually enough to buy another cow. I don't recommend doing in the beginning because uh, one cow is enough for now uh, but you can definitely buy a lot because usually like Harvest Moon games don't give you a lot of money uh, when you first start out so you're very limited in what you can do but this one gives you I'm actually really surprised at how this one gives you such free reign to really do whatever you want like right from the start it is really nice it makes up for the long cutscene in the very beginning uh, anyway, like Takakura said, oh my god, <laughs> that's really, that's a, that's a close-up. Um, like Takakura said, this is Vesta's farm, you can talk to Vesta, and buy seeds. I just totally skipped all of her dialogue, I'm so sorry, but I, uh, I <laughs> just need the seeds. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is the only place you can buy seeds. Later on, there's going to be a way for us to make them, uh, but right now, this is the only place you can buy them. Uh, so, aside from farming, uh, other ways to make money are to come out here into the, like, uh, into the town, and there'll be, f you see flowers growing all over the place. Uh, flowers that don't look like the background textures, they're just kind of, like, sitting on top, really weirdly. You can pick all these and sell them, and, uh, they're actually worth quite a bit of money, uh, once you have them all collected. Um, and they grow every two days, I believe? Yeah, I think so. 
Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick all of these. Um, and I think I'm actually gonna end this episode pretty soon, just because uh, the tutorial took up quite a bit of time, and uh, I'm, I don't, I don't like to end the episode in the middle of a, of a day. I'm not gonna do that. But just for the sake of the tutorial taking up a lot of time, um, I'm just gonna probably end this uh, in a little bit. Oh. So this is who I was talking about. This is Van. He comes to town, like, every... Well, apparently every day, because it's the first day. The name's Vaughn. I travel all across the world selling rare items. Very pleased to meet you. My shop will be open on the 3rd and the 8th each month. Please stop by whenever you feel the need. So that's kind of a lie, because he he really just opens his shop at random. I don't even know why he's in town right now. But whenever he opens his shop, there'll be, like, a big cutscene. Um... If you're outside, there'll be a cutscene where he opens his shop, and you can go and buy stuff from him, and also sell stuff to him. Uh, so you can ship the dairy products in the food storage, but everything else you sell to him. Um, yeah, so he's like one of the most useful characters in the game, uh, which is pretty cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go plant the rest of these tomato seeds. What's up, Vanilla? How you doing? I'm gonna go plant the rest of the tomato seeds. Um, and then I think I'm gonna call it an episode after that. Riveting stuff, I know. The beginning of the game is always so riveting. Did I buy six? One, two, three, four. Oh, I should probably explain about these fields, because they have multiple fields on my farm. Um, I did buy six. Awesome. So there's three fields. There's a small one, there's a medium one, and then this one's the really big one. Uh, and each of them are fertilized differently. Um, the... The small field, the soil there isn't very fertile. The medium one, it's like it's fertile, and then this one is very. Uh, so wherever you want to plant your crops, uh, it's up to you. But this one, if you're looking for like, because crops have different ranks. There's B, there's A, and then there's S. Um, so if you're trying to get an S rank crop, and you plant them in here, and then put fertilizer on them like every day. Uh, it'll be a little bit easier for them to get to S rank, just because this, um, the soil here is already fertile. Like, see, if you look at it, uh, cultivated land, the soil is very fertile, which is nice. And then, just normal, and then this one, way over here, is not very. So yeah, that's cool. Oh, also our dog is here. Hello. You can leave food for your dog in this bowl, which I always do. It doesn't do anything except for in the summer, and I'll explain that uh, in the future. Um, but yeah, for now, uh, that's going to be it for this episode, because the tutorial took up quite a bit of time. This episode was... oh my god. So if you're outside when Vaughn opens his shop, this is the scene that we'll play every time without fail. If you're inside, it'll skip the scene entirely, and then you can come back outside and he'll already be set up. But every time he opens up his shop, that scene will play without fail if you're outside. It gets to be quite annoying after a few years in-game. Anyway, um, I don't, I'm not going to let the episodes run this long in the future, I don't think. Um, but for now, I'm going to end this off. So thank you very much for watching this first episode. I'm so excited to actually get into this. Let's play, because uh, this is really, like, this is just a nostalgia trip for me. It's completely my childhood, and I'm, I'm excited, one, to be playing it again, and two, to be making videos about it. So, thank you very much for watching. My name is Wilder, uh, and as always, I will see you in the next one.